Too much. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with that clown. This pussy, oh, shut up, fam. First of all, shut your mouth. That's number one. Yeah, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to you very bluntly. I'm only gonna do this once. First of all, shut up. That's number one. Yeah, you're telling fibs. You're telling stories. And you know, at the time, I'm fighting immigration and I'm on license. I can't speak on something. Open my mouth and speak about what really happened. You're gonna look so crazy. So I suggest you just stop telling that story. I suggest you just stay away from the topic. Cause you're lying. You're lying. What's good, people? Mayor Event TV here. <laughs> I've been topping up my tan, so I've been missing out what's going on on the internet. However, Satama came across Vic Santora himself <laughs> addressing Big Bad Spray. First of all, there's two sides to a story. Then there's the truth. If the truth comes out, just for you internet guys out there, someone's going to prison because the police will have a picture of exactly what happened if someone tells a true story. Aside from that, Vic Santoro told Big Bad Spray, wake up. Stop playing the victim and stop lying. Before I have to expose you to the people out there and let them know you're no victim. You tried to act tough and you got dealt with. The old days of where people was afraid of you because you was with 10 or 15 man. Them days are now over. Everybody now knows the truth. With a strap, every man's a bad man. With a knife, anyone could grab a man and stab man. Vic Santoro is exposing the fact that because Big Bad Spray can't do nothing by himself, he tries to reach out and click up with other man that's got a problem with another man. Now, because Big Van Toro has been to jail, any man who's been to jail and mash a man up understands. When a man that get mash up can't do that by himself, they try to recruit other man to help them. So Vic Van Toro is basically saying, Big Bad Spray, stop trying to reach out to a man that don't even like you. Stop trying to reach out. To other man from other areas to pretend that they're with you. They're only doing interviews with you. They're not with you when it comes to the war. Vic Santoro says the narrative Big Bad Spray has got out there is wrong. It's a lie. It's untrue. <laughs> Vic Santoro said, you know he's got personal issues going on. Why you try to bait him up on the internet like some idiot? I know people out there thinking, hold up a second. How come Vic Santoro went on the big internet? Attacking African child. I thought the same thing until I realized very quickly in a split second. Victim knows African child personally. Victim does not know gigs personally. <laughs> Therefore, Vic Santoro made a logical decision. You know what? My brethren's getting mashed up. I'm not going to put myself involved in a situation I really don't know. But I know my brethren that's standing next to me. He chats snuff shit. He should be able to back his beef. <laughs> you know, I'm going to say the truth. I will tell any of my brethren, if you get mash up, handle that business accordingly. With swift action. If there's not going to be action, shut your mouth. Simple as that. However, I can't, I'm not going to say I'm going to stand there and watch somebody I am moving with get mash up. I can't say that. I will be lying. <laughs> However, I was in Vic Santoro's head at the time. I don't know what he was thinking at the time. Did that really go down? Like I said, there's his story, Big Bad Space story, then there's the truth. So I can only look at it from a perspective. Why is Big Bad Spray come on the internet to divert attention that a man left him to get mash up? Hold up a second. You are a gangster. You are a road man. You are a gun man. How come you didn't handle that situation accordingly? According to Big Bad Spray, he didn't want to do 30 years in jail. <laughs> so how come no one out there could understand why Vic Santoro left him if that was the true case to get mash up. Vic Santoro said he was going through personal problems at the time of the incident. So how come people out there don't realise what he's trying to say? <laughs> so I'm going to say it for what it is. The people that mashed up Big Bad Spray didn't come for Vic Santoro because Vic Santoro wasn't a part of the problem. And the people who came for Big Bad Spray looked at it very simply and dealt with it accordingly. He's a friend of a friend. Should we mash him up too? And the simple answer is no. He's the one that was talking. If the friend runs his mouth, he will get dealt with too. Simple. That's how you're supposed to conduct problems. So the people conducted themselves correctly. You handle the person at the point of the time who was caused in a problem. Clearly, Vic Santoro wasn't the problem. So I'm going to put it very simply. Vic Santoro has put it out there. Big bad spray. Put on some gloves and let's go dancing in that ring for charity. You know, that part there, Vic Santoro, I know you stole that line there from me. <laughs> At 
least he came out and said it simply. It's not no big beef, but if you want to do something about it, let's get in the ring. <laughs> you know, for you out there, like I always tell you, the moral to the story is very simple. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Born alone, die alone. Sometimes the truth hurts. Remain relevant TV, you know, like, share, subscribe. Peace.